Hello everybody, I'm making this tutorial video to show you how to obtain and use the Terraria Inventory Editor tool. I'm making this video because on one of my previous videos where I killed 9 Skeletrons at once in the game, I had stacked 9,999 Fallen Stars into one stack, which is impossible if you do it normally. So, I'm making this video to show you what tool I used and how to do it. So we'll start by loading into my character, the same character that I used in said video. Right now he has all of his normal settings on, normal inventory and everything but uh, with this tool what you can do is up his max health to beyond the normal limits and his max MP to well beyond the normal limits you can set him to hardcore and you can change how he looks you can also change his name if you want the Terraria version up here isn't going to match the version that it says it within the game because it's this this is the version that the code says the Terraria is so it's it's not going to be the same so it's not really important but it'll say that, so don't be weirded out if you have version 12 instead of version 1. So with this tool you can also edit the character's inventory by clicking a slot and selecting an item from this drop down menu. I have my molten pickaxe here. You can use this stack size monitor to change the size of the stack to well over the normal limit. See the max stack for meteor shot is 250. I have it set to 9999. I've done the same with my dynamite so I can just dig holes down to hell in half a second. Uh, in the new update of this editor tool, he's added the ability to use buffs in it so that you can set which buffs that you want on your character. It is limited to the number of buffs that you can have in the game, unlike for health and stuff. But uh, the time that you have them on for, this is well over 10 minutes if you can't read. So that's how that works. So I thought this would be a good time to make this video because this buffs thing was just added in the newest update of this tool and a link on where to get it is in the description. I'll use the AdFly link so that the developer still gets his money. Also, uh, if you download it with my link, you're going to have to update it. It's with any link, by the way. It's not just mine. You're going to have to update it frequently in case it's already been updated, which it probably has because there are lots of bugs with this tool, as the game itself doesn't seem to be done developing. So thank you, and I'm now I'm going to show you what these things look like in action in the game. So hello everybody, now I'm in game to demonstrate these effects. As you can see, I have 10,000 health. It kind of leaks off the screen and looks bad. The mana is not so bad because it doesn't interrupt anything in your inventory. It just goes down and off right here. So um, as you can see, mana high, life high, and these stacks are like this. Now the thing about using this on servers is that if you do have j this, m this many items in a stack, it will kick you for hacking and it'll have a little arrow code and say hacking, don't hack. So um... What you need to do is, you can still use cheated items, they just can't be in massive stacks like this. So, like if I didn't have this, and I didn't have this, this would be fine, even though this is cheated for. So, and see, look, if you, see, I, see, that did happen this time. I tried to pick up this meteor shot, and I got back 21 of it instead of the stuff that I had. So, all these buffs still work, because there is no cheat for buffs prevention system just yet. But the point is, you need to not cheat, and if you are going to cheat, cheat subtly. That's what's important. 